jump kick because it is Friday. T, I meant to say, thank you for the likes. Thank you for the likes. I appreciate that. They do nothing for my self-esteem or my ego. Genuinely mean that. The more likes we get, the more people watch our videos, and that's a good thing. That means more people are involved with the industry athletics community. So thank you. Appreciate that. Work out today. We're gonna get some strength in, and we're gonna do running and burpees. Classic, solid workout. Before we do that, let's get warmed up. We're running today, so if you are going to run or row or bike or jumping jack, then I suggest get outside, grab your rope, hit at least a minute of that for your cardio warm up. After that, I wanna focus on some running exercises to open up the hips, make sure we're ready to press, and after we get through that strength section, we're probably gonna feel good, all right? So for the running, I want you to find a little bit of, of movement, little area, at least four to six feet where you can get slightly dynamic, okay? So very similar to class, we're gonna walk back, opposite hand, opposite foot, we're gonna hug our knee up to our chest, maybe big step into a lunge, focus on some hip openers, so you're gonna come up and in, out and in, up and in, out and in, while you're moving. Um, ankle calf work, where you're walking on your toes, walking on your heels, possibly some side stretches, deep down into that Samson lunge, as you start to open up, or, uh, sorry, Cossack squat. Work through a few of those things as you're keeping the heart rate up, stretching while you move, it's the dynamic stretching piece, all right? Last thing, just get some arm circles in, come down on the mat, and do press ups in the warm up for the burpees, upper body, Maybe throw that plank position in there. And then you're ready to rock and roll, all right? From there, we're gonna to start to go over our strength movements. Now, most people's home gym might look something similar to this. We have a dumbbell, uh, dumbbell, kettlebell, mat, that's about it. Ideally, you have two kettlebells at the same weight for your gorilla rows. So you would step over both of them. I only currently have one in the gym because all of our amazing members have the other ones. So I'd step over that kettlebell, Bring it right in between my feet, and I have two, one on each side, and I pull and pull. If you just have one, then you're just gonna try to make a fist and really stabilize with that opposite arm. So I'm gonna pull here, keep it nice and stable, and then pull that dumbbell up and in, all right, right to my ribs, so that elbow is kind of back into my hip, all right? You don't wanna have that dumbbell pulled up like that, or kind of scrunching up in my shoulder. I wanna row that dumbbell back. So my fist here, and then keep it nice and solid, and then work those reps, okay? From there, bicep curl. I'm not gonna curl this 53 pounder, even though I could with one hand, but a good option if you do have a heavy KB is just to grab the horns, and do a double bicep curl, all right? Get ready for the summer. I've always had big arms, so people usually seek my advice for this stuff. Bicep curls, gonna be awesome. Last one, a little bit of a different movement. We are gonna come down to a hollow hold position. In a dumbbell, um, I'd probably use somewhere between a 30 or a 40 if I had my choice. So you're thinking like semi-moderate weight here. You're gonna bring those feet up, hold that hollow position, and then press. 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 I like to have my arm out to the side so I'm kind of fighting and stabilizing. Maybe you'll get a little movement in there too as it's kind of working around. But that is the hollow hold press, okay? I cycle through a few of those movements four times, get your strength on today in the beginning. Feel prepped for this next piece, all right? Burpees, sorry, running and burpees. Three minutes, 400 meter run. Max burpees, should take about two minutes for the run, two minutes, all right? After you finish with the run, as many burpees as possible, no rest, you're going right back into the run. You wanna push yourself here, but you have to pace yourself, all right? You don't wanna blow it out and then try to rest 10 seconds. You should hit a pace on the burpees where you can hit that last one. Maybe you have five seconds left, big breath, and then you're off. That will be faster in the long run, accumulate more burpees that way, than trying to get an extra five burpees on the first round and then getting progressively slower throughout, all right? If you want to, score in the comments um, the amount of burpees you're getting each round so we can see who's the most consistent. See you guys in Sugar Wad laying out those fist bumps.